Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Spring and today we're going through what you will need to get started in Muay Thai. First of all, Happy New Year everyone. Hope you guys had a great Christmas and New Year. Let's get into what you will need equipment wise and also gear wise when you're getting started in Muay Thai. Alright guys, let's start with the absolute essentials. So we're going to divide it into two today. The stuff that you definitely need when you get started and also stuff that you can buy next time. Like further down the line, um, as you get into your training, you can look at getting these things. But let's just start with the most essential stuff that you will absolutely need for starting Muay Thai training. Okay, first off, gloves. Good set of gloves. So when you're starting out, you only need one pair of gloves. You don't need many sets of gloves. Um, I would recommend if you're starting out and you're pretty small or average size, get a gloves around 10 ounce um, in weight. And you can use that for doing pad work, bag work, and also some light drills. Most of the time when you're getting started, you won't be doing too much contact or sparring just yet. So you won't need to transition to having big gloves and then small gloves. So just get yourself a good set of gloves, 10 ounce, um, or even 12 ounce is fine as well. A lot of people start with 16 ounces when I was starting, um, but I think 10 or 12 is just fine. Yeah. Next, shin guards. So these, I would say, get a set um, for yourself so you can start doing some light drills and also you can start hold, wearing these when you're holding pads as well. Yeah, so shin guards, you want to basically have them fitted up to your top part of your shin. So I'll pop them on in a sec so you can have a look. But basically shin guards, you need them, number two. Number three is hand wraps. So you want to wear hand wraps so you're using your gloves so your gloves don't get too smelly with all the sweat inside and also wash your hand wraps after every use. Um, hand wraps come in like different lengths as well. I'll probably say get the longer length and yeah, just learn how to wrap your hands. Keep your knuckles and your hands safe when you're practicing Muay Thai. Hand wraps. Okay, number four. So whether or not you guys are doing sparring, I would always say get a mouth guard. So this one's a custom one that I've made at a dentist. But when you're starting out, you don't have to do the huge investment of getting a custom mouth guard. You can always just get the moldable ones from a sports store or from a pharmacy. Just get yourself a mouth guard. It's super important to keep your face and your teeth safe. Disinfectant spray, really important for all your gear. So after you use it, do not put all your gear back into your uh, sports bag or your carry bag and just leave them there to soak in the sweat. Take them out, air them to dry and disinfect them. Whether you use like um, a sports disinfectant like this one or whether you just get eucalyptus spray or any kind of disinfectant, that will do. Just spray your gear, wipe it down after every session and leave them out to dry. If it's a sunny day, put all your gear out into the sun just to keep all the infections and bacteria away. Okay, appropriate um, shorts to wear. So for the guys, normally like any shorts the guys wear are fine. But for the girls, um, if you don't want to buy your Muay Thai shorts just yet and you just have all these sports shorts like running shorts um, or tights as so, um, you can get, you can wear these to classes, they're fine. Personally, I like to wear the shorts with like that little extra layer on the inside of the shorts, just so that when we're doing kicks and knees and stuff, like it just doesn't slip up and people can see what I'm wearing underneath, yeah? So shorts, preferably a little bit longer, so just above the knee as well is good. But yeah, any kind of sports short, running shorts are fine. I don't particularly like wearing tights too much just because I feel like self-conscious if I do get a camel toe. But um, I've seen girls wear them and they look just fine. If you do think about getting your own pair of Muay Thai shorts, there's different cuts to Muay Thai shorts. Just remember that. So you have more like a traditional cut, like so. Yeah, so a bit longer and a bit wider as well. And you have more like a retro cut, which is what I'm currently wearing now. And also something like this. Yeah, so I'll show you guys a stand up in a sec. But Muay Thai shorts, again, just get something comfortable. I wear a size S in, actually, yeah, I wear a size S in all brands in Muay Thai shorts. So if you bought the same size as me, size S. Okay, for the ladies, last one that's absolutely essential. Um, appropriate sports bras, okay? So I like these ones. Like obviously the Prima ones, the new ones, I think the design is great. What I like about them is the thick band. You'll find that I don't normally train in just a sports bra, but I'll, I'll fight in just a sports bra. Um, thick band and also nice and tight. So if you have sports bras that have like a thinner, like elastic band here, the only issue I have with that when fighting or doing like the like more competitive Muay Thai is that this sometimes tends to slip up. So when you guys are doing clinching and like just, you know, the all that happening during a fight, I really don't like wearing something so thin with the elastic band, something a little bit thicker like this is good. And I also don't like when the back of a sports bra um, has like a clasp or like the hooks. Cause again, like I've seen fights where girls are wearing like really thin elastic kind of like sports bras or having like hooks and just, they just undo itself. So get yourself a good sports bra, 
good supportive sports bra um, when you guys are starting out Muay Thai. So that's all the essential stuff, yeah? Um, let's move on to stuff that you can pick up later on when you are further down the line for your Muay Thai journey. And first would be what we spoke about at the start, bigger gloves, yeah? So you have two sets of gloves. I'll just show you the difference. So these ones are 12 ounces, and these ones are 10 ounces, and you see the difference in them. So um, for sparring, I would say anywhere from, let's say, 14 to 16, if you're on the smaller side, something like 12. So I feel like the Primos are quite big in their gloves, so I wear 12. Um, you can wear that. So again, pad work, bag work, and then sparring, big ones, yeah? So big pair of gloves for your second set of gloves. What you can also move on to, these are not essential, but a lot of people do like having them, which are anklets. So they don't, they give you a little bit of support around the ankles because you are going to be on like um, the tippy toes a lot in Muay Thai. And also they protect the top part of your foot when you're hitting things. But again, the fabric is so thin, they just give you a little bit of support and comfort around the ankle joint. And a lot of people do find them useful. Elbow pads. So these ones, uh, later down the line when you're sparring or when you're doing drills and you're comfortable all your basics, getting a set of elbow pads are useful just so you can start incorporating elbows into your clinch and also into your sparring. So you don't want to go too hard with these guys because they still hurt, but get yourself a good pair of elbow pads. Not like the soft volleyball ones that have no support or like protection at the elbow bone. Get yourself the proper like Muay Thai brand elbow pads. Okay, I always carry these things which are like, you don't, you probably need them all the time. Um, tape for when you guys split your toes, uh, blisters, cuts, band-aids, extra hair ties, extra hair clips, and an extra mouth guard. This is like my old mouth guard, but I always bring two everywhere with me. And later on, you can also upgrade to getting stuff like a Muay Thai bag. Again, you don't have to, you can fit your stuff into anything, but they are also um, Muay Thai specific bags that you can find online. And they're pretty useful, they fit like everything in here. So I've got my shin guards, two gloves, and all my extra stuff in the bag. Um, just a little side note for the ladies, when you're doing Muay Thai classes, do not wear any jewellery in your class, the same for the guys as well. Earrings out, nose rings, belly button ring, take that all away. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video on what you need to get started. So again, don't feel stressed like you need to buy everything all at once. You can always make a list or make a list from this video and then go through them slowly. You can always buy the cheaper version first and then upgrade to like a more expensive, higher quality product once you've fully decided or fully committed to do Muay Thai for a long time because all this stuff normally lasts for years and you don't have to like change them up. So invest in a good one once you've decided to commit to training in Muay Thai. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!